there have been many planned railway transportation projects proposed over the years. However, one system of railway transportation has been proposed so many times but has not come into fruition. The Philippines has over 9 monorail projects planned and only two came close to construction, only to be left abandoned and scrapped. Those two monorail projects of the Philippines that have been constructed are in Metro Manila's Quezon City and Tagig City under the project of the Department of Science and Technology. While it may look like a monorail, the train cars are supported by two tracks. The Automated Guideway Transit System project aims to develop a locally designed and manufactured AGT system. Basically, the train cars are manufactured in the Philippines, requiring no human assistance and are meant to be a service for shorter distance commuting in comparison with the metro system of the region. The system was first implemented on the University of the Philippines Diliman campus in Quezon City, planned to construct a railway around the university. But only 400 meters of the railway were constructed, used as a prototype. Test runs started but the line was never used for the public, with the line being dismantled in 2018 and being replaced with a road. Despite the project proving that the line can be implemented in public transport, the project still has a long way to being proposed and adopted by the Philippine government. As it is now, no. We need the safety certifications and the standards. We cannot take responsibility for using them for public use. The functionality, safety, and integration are important. This should all be addressed before we can put it in service. In 2024, a 370 meter AGT system was implemented for testing in Bikutan, Tagig City in front of the office of the DOST, but was also abandoned. It's fairly obvious why the AGT system in the Philippines failed. A lack of confidence from the government. Just like the hybrid bus the department conceptualized, although there is an argument to be made that the project was kind of inefficient, the AGT system's usage for short distance yet convenient commuting can be very beneficial to the already congested transport system of the region. However, there is an argument to be made since the test runs involved a driver and the maintenance of the system, questions regarding financial shortcomings despite the system being manufactured locally and aimed at cheap and affordable train cars thus raise questions about the system's ability to even fund its own service. The ADT system in the Philippines could have been a vital role in short distance commuting in areas that lack public transportation or serve congested areas. However, the project that aims to provide Filipinos with a locally produced answer to efficient transportation was not given the chance to serve a single commuter. It's undergoing further testing for its reliability, safety. MIRDC believes an efficient mass transport system is the solution to the worsening traffic situation in the metro. Mas konte ang vehicles mo, pero mas marami kang kayang daling pasahero. The MIRDC has not yet received any offer from the national government to use the train in the country's mass transport system. So, saka magpapa-certify pa tayo for its roadworthiness. I, I can see mga within two to three years wow. pwede na tong gamitin. Wow! Okay, ayan! Another case of a project that hasn't got to serve the general public is the SkyTrain project under the Alliance Global Group. The 1.8 kilometer project aims to connect the Guadalupe MRT3 station to BGC, projected to serve 60 to 100,000 commuters daily, reducing commute time to just 5 minutes, with a 3 billion plus budget coming straight from the corporation. Construction was to commence in 2019, with the SkyTrain being operational at the end of 2021. It's 2025, and construction has not even begun. The corporation is still adamant about turning the project into fruition, but it's safe to say that we are not hearing anything about this project anytime soon, considering that the two cities involved in the project don't really like each other right now. Similarly, a project was proposed by the SM Prime Holdings Company of a 1.8km monorail line that connects the Taft Avenue MRT3 station to the Mall of Asa. However, the proposal never left the paper, and any mention of implementation or completion has not been stated. While the project can help railway commuters have a direct line to the Mall of Asa, Considering that the mall already has multiple public transportation links and this project alone may be a bit overkill, however, extending the line to serve other areas of the region would improve the region and turn it into a business district, and not a one-to-one -one copy of an American highway. In 2018, the city of Pasig commissioned a citywide monorail system, the 16km Pasig City Transit System serves the city's most congested areas, from Saw Boulevard to the City Hall all the way to the Santolan LRT2 station. However, half of the station is situated on top of a floodway, 
raising questions regarding the project's environmental effects. But the proposal once again never left the paper. The monorail would have crossed path the planned MRT4 line, which was also originally proposed as a monorail line, but was later approved as a metro rail line. But Metro Manila is not the only place in the country that has had an interest in implementing a monorail line. In Baguio City, an 11.5 billion peso proposal was made in 2021 for a 4km monorail line, having 8 stations and would connect key areas of the city. However, in 2025, the proposal alongside a cable car project proposal was ultimately scrapped due to the projects being deemed as not feasible. Another project that hasn't moved since its proposal is the Davao People Mover Project, a 13km monorail line that will serve the southern part of the city with 16 stations. The project was recommended by a Korean firm in 2018, the construction of the line estimated to be 30 billion pesos, aiming to complete the project in 2022. However, the proposal was quietly shelved in favor of other public transportation projects in the region. Heading over to the Visayas region, the cities of Iloilo and Cebu were supposed to implement a monorail system. The 77 billion peso Cebu monorail line, which is 27 kilometers long and extends to the Mactan Cebu International Airport, estimated to be finished in the early 2020s, it was awaiting approval in 2021, but the project hasn't made any noise since. Iloilo's 20km monorail line was expected to start operations by 2019, but the proposal was shelved. There is some skepticism about monorails especially those planned to serve more than one region. While monorails are more accessible and slim, they sacrifice necessary capacity and service for more than a thousand daily commuters. Monorails are a fairly niche form of public transportation, only used for specific applications such as mountainous regions, tight areas, or short distances, such as airports or campuses. However, long-distance traveling may be more suitable for other metro rail systems, and due to the monorail system not possessing an emergency route, resulting and commuters being stranded inside the train cars, monorails gained a reputation of being an unreliable system of public transportation. However, in the case of Metro Manila, where most areas are congested and have tight roads, a typical metro rail system wouldn't be possible without drawbacks. A monorail system can be more beneficial to the region, especially in car-centric areas, meaning having no means of private transportation, either walking to a nearby public transportation or relying on rented transportation and getting stuck in traffic. However, right of way issues, construction, and maintenance cost billions of pesos, and railway projects generally don't make money if the fares are not extremely priced. Instead, railway transportation boosts a region's economic output by not having workers spend hours in traffic. And since Metro Manila is the country's economic powerhouse, it does make sense that the government would pay more attention to the region. That begs the question, what about the other regions? Today, only one monorail proposal is still being considered, while many are left forgotten. So unfortunately, we may not even witness a monorail line be implemented in the country anytime soon.